Hello friends, it has been a minute. Today we are going to be cooking with my new friend. Well, okay, it's not new, but like, I just, I love this air fryer. And I'm taking you along with me to show you what I cook, so let's go. So today, what we will, the first thing, because we're cooking multiple things, the first thing we will be cooking is the Tyson Any Tizers Chicken Fries. Yum. They are very, they're already, like, they're frozen, so we don't have to do, like, a whole lot in the air fryer. Is like, makes it so easy. And the calories, let's see. Let's see the nutritional facts because I'm sure my parents are watching. These are not good for you, they say, but they taste delicious. Okay, so the nutritional facts, um, serving size is seven pieces. That, okay, that's not a serving size, but okay. And the calories are 280, wow. And total fat, this is very hard to see friends, 24, total fat 24, I don't know what that means, I'm not a health person, like, I, I eat corn, corn is healthy, I eat green beans, green beans are healthy, I eat meat, meat is healthy, well for some people, some people don't like meat, but I love meat, but like, if you ask me like what the nutritional fact is on a Cheeto, I would say delicious. <laughs> delicious. And if you ask what a nutritional fact is in these chicken fries, I would not be able to tell you. I would be able to tell you the serving size and how long to cook them and how to prepare them properly but I would not be able to tell you how many fats or whatever nutrition things say. I don't, I don't know guys, okay? I don't know. So let's get to cooking. And we are back. I got my ring light because I didn't like the lighting in here because I couldn't see what I was doing. I don't know why the lighting it's so dark today like it's not cloudy it's just the lighting is really dark and i don't know why usually it's not that dark but so first we open this handy dandy fryer and it's like it's it's big so the one that i had in my apartment at college it was very small like it fit, it fit a good amount of these in it but i don't i don't think i could fit like a whole like chicken breast in there. I could fit a couple chicken thighs, but I couldn't fit a whole like chicken breast or a whole chicken in there. This you can fit like a whole chicken breast. It's it's pretty cool. It is it clean? Yeah it's clean. It's just not right. Let me go wipe the bottom of this because this still has a um, some a little soapy in it. So we are back and it is clean no more soapy residue on it yay yay for food now so when I was in my apartment, I didn't have, like, foil. I mean, I had foil, but it, it didn't really work that well because, like, it was the, the, the big foil, like, the, the long foil, and it was, like, long sheets. Like, it wasn't short, so it didn't fit. Like, I literally had to, like, it, it's very hard as, like, a blind and visually impaired person to cut foil. Also, like, the, the pokey things on it that cut the foil, I literally have gotten like cut from those before. It's not fun, but so I would just like put my food like 
just directly in here and then like clean it really really good afterwards um and there is a trick there is a fun little trick that people came up with and it is foil but it looks like this so it's pop-up foil it's already cut in the perfect shape that is perfect size for this tin and it's pop-up. So you just kind of like, when you open it, you like pop um, this part out. So the foil can just like boop, pop up and it it's like a tissue paper, like a tissue box. That's the best way to explain it. It's like a tissue box, but for foil and it's amazing. Also on Amazon, they have some, um, Sorry, that might be a little loud. The foil's kind of loud. Um, they have some like air fryer tins that are made for the air fryer. And so when I go back to college, I'm going to invest in those because Amazon has all the good things. So, we place the foil in the pan like this. And we kind of just like, it, sometimes it'll like fly up and like make the um, air fryer sound a little funny because the foil will get caught up in the air fryer sometimes if we don't like push it down all the way. So we gotta make sure we push the edges down and like even it out. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do, I think I may do like maybe three or four just because I am making other things. I'm not making a whole bunch, but I am making like a, a couple other things. So let's, let's start out with three and if I want more then I can take it. It's like, it's not that hard to cook. Ooh, they smell very good. I don't know. Look, look at that yumminess. Okay, so, ooh, they're not like as frozen as they were because I kind of left them sitting out, my bad. I didn't mean to do that. But they're literally like shaped like french fries, but they have chicken in them. And they're like, I, I eat a lot of them just cause like these, these are kind of small. Like, I don't know if they're small to anyone else, but for me, like, um, after getting my feeding tube out and, like, really liking, starting to, like, get more into food, I realized that, like, some things I eat more of and some things I don't eat more of. And that is the case with these fries. Like, I can eat this in maybe, like, two bites. Some people I know, like, my dad and my brother could probably eat this in, like, one bite, but... I might die if I do that because it is very like long but we just set them in here and they can actually fit about seven in here so they can fit they they can fit a lot more than seven actually but I'm only gonna do four today I know I said three but like smelling them is making me hungry so I'm gonna do four and I'm sticking with four usually sometimes I like I'll say, oh, I'm gonna do, like, I'll do three or four, and then I end up putting, like, six in there, and eating all six. And, mind you, I eat like this, like, I eat a lot, but I'm still really little, like, really little. But that's okay. So now that they're in there, I want to show you kind of how I place them. Let's see. So that is how I place them. I kind of place them, like, further apart just so they can um cook a little more one two three four yeah okay i thought i had five in there like my vision added another one it said hey look you need another one but no that's four and i'm gonna stick with this so now we just let me scoot this out of the way real fastly sure. 
Okay, now we stick it in here. And we press this button. And these, like, so this is very hard to see for me just because, hold on, let me, it's gonna start. Okay. Um, these are very hard to see for me because mine, mine is like all touch screen, but it beeps when it's, touch, and this one beeps too, but like, this is very small. Like I, like having my camera that close to it, I can see it now. So imagine how close I have to be when I'm like n not using my camera. So let's see, let's close it so we can start it. And we put it in for 12 minutes at, let's see, I don't know. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna do a 370 just to be safe because I honestly don't remember and I don't have the full instructions. No! And it started. Okay, sometimes it starts automatically if you're not fast enough, which I'm not a fan of, but it's okay. And this, okay, so I gotta wait till it gets, it's gonna get hot really fast. So this part is gonna get pretty hot, but like if you, if you leave your hand on it, yeah, it's gonna hurt. But if you just like go like that and touch it, it's it doesn't hurt. The handle does not get hot. Mine, okay, so my parents, this is my parents, this isn't mine. Mine um, is with my mom. My mom went to uh, school to learn things. So this part in the back gets very warm. Like it doesn't get hot, but it gets very warm. My air fryer does not get warm up here. So like I can just touch up here and it, it doesn't get warm, or I can touch on the side, it doesn't get warm. But there's, I don't know if it's because it's so much bigger, but up here it gets pretty warm. Not as warm as here, but it does get very, very warm. And so, 11 minutes. So now we're gonna get our other, um, we're gonna prep our other, like, little sides that we're having. Okay, y'all, first of all, it's cooking, it's at, let's see. At 10 minutes right now set it for 12 minutes some people say to set it for 15 minutes and on a lower like heat setting but like i like a higher heat setting and a little bit longer time just because like it really gets that flavor also hold on it's doing the thing again oh sorry yeah. about that guys um like i said earlier the thing the the um foil sometimes gets caught up in the air fryer and um that is that is the noise that if you heard if you heard it that was the noise because i i sat there for a second and i was like mm, what is happening in the house because that was a weird noise and then i realized it's the air fryer anyway before we got rudely interrupted by my chicken Rude. Corn. Oh, sorry guys, that was a little too high. Corn. I love corn. So we are going to get a little bowl. Um, I'm sure and I'm getting a stool. We are back. Okay, friends, we are back and we have a glass bowl. And yes, I am blind and I use glass. I'm very gentle with it. I promise. It's like one of those that has like a little lid on it too. So it's like a little Pyrex bowls. Um, they have some other bowls, but they're dirty. Like some bowls that have like these lids on it. Okay, we have so many of these lids and sometimes we can't find a bowl that they go to. Does that happen to anyone? Like you lose your socks in the washer and they come back as like hair ties or like Pyrex lids that don't fit on anything because that that happens a lot so we're going to take i i don't know how much i'm going to eat just because i'm i'm not the hungriest right now just because i also did have macaroni and cheese like about an hour to two hours ago homemade mac and cheese was so good but i am going to have some delicious corn so um 
I like it on the cob. Like, it's good off the cob, but, like, there's just something eating it off the cob that's just it's very satisfying. So, we're gonna... This corn might not be good, but... I mean, it's, it's okay, right? Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna do it anyway. It's fine. Stomach of steel today, girls. So... Our corn is in here, and we are going to heat it. Let me see how much time is on this. Okay, there's six minutes on this timer, so we're just gonna heat this up in the microwave. And yeah, we're gonna heat it in the microwave. I'm gonna say for about That is loud. I am sorry if this noise is bothering y'all. This is, this, there's another, like, air fryers are amazing, but they are kind of loud. But when they beep, they're super loud. So, like, like our microwave, I can't really hear the beeping on our microwave. So, a lot of times, I just stand there staring at it like this. And just waiting for it to be done. Even if I have to stand there for five minutes, I just stand there because I can't hear the beep on it. But the air fryer beep is quite loud. It's it's doing the thing again. I'm gonna see if it stops. Cause sometimes it'll stop. I don't like that noise. I don't. It like maybe some people think it's safe, but like that noise scares me. I don't like that noise, so I'm gonna fix that again. Guys, I went over to fix it and it stopped. I literally had my hand on the handle, about to pull it, and it stopped. Also, another great thing is if you like pull the, the tray out mid heating process. I, I almost said cycle, that's a dishwasher. Um, if you pull it out mid heating process, then like, and then you stick it back in, it'll automatically like resume its heating, which is great. <laughs> so we're gonna go heat this corn up. I usually put like um, salt and pepper on it but some people may do that before. I like to do that after. I, I like to put like salt and pepper and butter on it. Actually, I, know I just wait until it, cause there's like four minutes left on the air fryer and I don't like, I, I love the air fryer. Like, let's just be honest. So we're gonna wait um, four or five and we're gonna wait four minutes for the air fryer to finish and then we're gonna pop this boy in. And I'm gonna leave the foil that's in there because like it's, it, I mean, it's all going in the same mouth. Like it's, it's fine. Like if I was making it for someone else, I might change the foil out just in case. Like they don't want chicken juice on their corn. <laughs> but it's, it's me and I don't really care. So I'm gonna leave the foil in there and just pop it in. And then I'm gonna put um, butter, salt and pepper on it and I saw so I saw like a my mom sent me a reel the other day and it's like they put a lot of seasoning on it and I don't like I the only seasoning I use I'm still like learning I'm still new to the kitchen and like cooking because I was too fed for 21 years so like I never really like ate so I mean I ate like through too fed but like never really ate like actual food, never had a need to like use the kitchen. So I'm just, like, at 21 years old, I'm learning how to use the kitchen. And I don't know a lot of the like salt, like peppers and like paprika, like those are the only two, like, like, I don't, I, I not condiments. I don't know what's called. Help me out in the comments. I don't know what's called. Um, things, we're gonna call it things. The things and I don't even know what I was saying. See, a blind girl babbles, y'all. I, I don't, I don't know. I just like talking. Okay, I gotta get a plate. <laughs> oh, okay, see, so like, it kind of makes the underneath the cabinets really hot. I don't know why their air fryer gets like this. That's so weird. My air fryer does not get like this. I, I'm wondering if it's because it's so big and it needs like the extra um, 
power to heat. Also, if you want to know, so let me let me show you guys. Very hard. I have a very hard time with cabinets like this because I'm like right. I don't know. Let me see if I can like. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see me, but like, look right at eye, like right above eye level. So like. That could be quite dangerous. I do not like cabinets because, like, I can't see them. I don't have any peripheral vision at all. So, <gasps> it's done! I'll get to you in, like, two seconds. Okay, let me finish talking. See, I told... Let me just... Blingo moment, you there. I did not see the handle. Ugh. Oh, that's kind of... That's hot. Look at how yummy they look. Okay, let me finish talking, cause so this right here, um, can't see it. So when I like grab stuff or put, I'm putting dishes away, I open it and I put my hand like right here, just in case, cause like some like see it moves. Like if it's like not all the way back, it and it's right here, it kind of like moves, like creaks a little bit and moves. So when I open stuff, I just have a habit of like putting my hand right here. Now the microwave over there um, is a little bit taller. So I don't have a problem with like knocking my face into the microwave. But these, I have been knocked quite a number of times, my friends. You've seen my, my face lots of times. Okay, now we're gonna get the chicken out and put it on my plate and then put the corn in. I have a lot of things in my way. This is not very um, organized right now, just because like, I feel like I don't have a lot of room. Also, this is very big. That was hot. Um, this is very big. And my other one is not super big, so it doesn't take a whole lot of counter space. Also, we have, my dad just bought a new, my dad just bought a new, um, um, blender. Why can't I think of words today? It's a, it's a, what is it? It's a Tuesday. It's, yeah, it's a Tuesday. Um, and so we have a lot of stuff on the counter today. I don't have little tweezers to get the chicken out. I'll be right back. Okay, so we used to have like big ones of these tweezers. But I, I can't find them, so we're gonna use the baby tweezers. Aren't they cute? But they're so little. I like these tweezers. They're cute, like me. Okay, so I usually, I don't know, y'all, it's gonna be hard to show this, but I usually pick, I don't like these tweezers because this little thing that shuts them is very flimsy. Okay, so I usually grab like two or three at a time. And then just plop right on my plate. Plop. And it's not even hot. This is, this. I can't get that. There we go. This is a little heavy, and I think because it's so big. Whoa, tweezers time. Okay. As you can see, and for my people who cannot not see oh, why do they keep doing that i hate that oh it drives me crazy okay i'm gonna scoot these over this way i don't know where i'm going let me just close it because it'll be easier because i'm really particular about my food i don't know why but i'm very particular about my food okay so there and then I'm going to add the corn. I need to take the corn out of this thing. Uh, sorry, I just got an email from someone. I need to go look at it in a little bit. Um, I need to take the corn out of this and put it in this, and then I will be ready for my meal. Also, I need to get ketchup because your girl loves ketchup. Okay, so while I'm preparing the corn, um, I would like to know in the comments. I would like tell me like what you put on your chicken because sometimes i put ketchup sometimes i put mustard i don't usually put mustard on my chicken if it's like not fried chicken i put um 
um, what's it called? I put like, oh, if it's not fried chicken, I usually put like, um, barbecue sauce on it because I love barbecue sauce. Or, um, if it's like grilled chicken, not grilled chicken. Yes, grilled chicken. Um, sometimes I'll either put barbecue sauce on it or I put a little bit of like Frank's red hot sauce on it. Frank's is a like, like it's like wing sauce. So I basically have like chicken. Well, wings are chicken. Wings are chicken. Okay, wings are chicken. Um, so I usually put that and then I, I don't really put any, I know some people may put sauce on their corn. I, I occasionally like barbecue sauce, a little bit of barbecue sauce on my corn. My parents think I'm crazy, but it is actually really good. So tell me what y'all put on your food. Okay guys, I was talking for like a few seconds and I started the air fryer. Um, and I did not hit the record button. Of course, of course I didn't, but yeah, so it's cooking. I set it for 3.45, I think, at uh, eight minutes. That might be a little too low. If it is, I'll like reset it. Well, my tripod keeps falling. Um, if it is, I'll set it for longer, but I'm getting hungry now, so I kind of just want to eat. <laughs> so I really hope this corn does not take long. But yeah, so that is what I'm making. I think I might add like, I don't know, what do you, what, what do you add with like fried chicken and corn? Like, it's out, okay. Corn is healthy. The fried chicken I know is not healthy because people tell me that all the time. But it's chicken, so it's basically, it's, it's half and half. Like, it's half healthy, but it's half not healthy, you know? So I think I'm like, I, I think I'm getting a pretty good amount of healthy. Like I have corn, I have chicken, but it has a layer of fried over it. So like it's half and half. I'm I'm doing pretty good now. I need like another. I'm gonna have apple juice for dinner. I know, I I know, but I love apple juice. I'm gonna have apple juice. This isn't dinner. It's like I don't know. When y'all are seeing this, it's gonna be a different time and a different day. But right now it's like four. So it's not dinner, it's like a snack, I guess. Um, so I need to see corn. Oh, I need to get ketchup out. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm having and you can see me eat. My corn is done, we got our handy, whoa. <laughs> that was dangerous. We got our handy dandy knife and let's go get the butter. Butter. Now we go. We get the salt and we get the pepper. Why does my phone keep saying low battery? That's rude of my phone to do that, isn't it? I'm gonna have to check these videos. You know what, let me, let me all is well in the video, my friends. Let me set my corn down for a tiny bit second. I gotta get my butter. Y'all, if you know me, you know I love butter. Like I love butter. Me and butter, me and butter go way back. We love butter. It's okay. Spreading butter is hard. I don't know if any other like let me know if y'all have a hard time spreading butter on things, especially corn, because, like, it can get stuck in the little, like, cracks. I could do it this way. I don't want it to be all clumped together. I just want my butter to be spread out on my corn. Spread. Okay, there we go. Now it's... I need like a brush. You know how like some people when they're cooking barbecue, they have that like little paintbrush looking thing and um, they like 
brush, they paint the barbecue sauce on the chicken while they're cooking it to make it like, like flavor. I need that, but like for butter and corn. Are we out of butter? No, no, no. Okay, we have like, that's like a tiny bit of butter. Um, keep in mind, don't do what I'm doing. The the blades are kind of the. It's not. It's not the safest. It's just. I can't do it any other way right now. I need to figure out a new way to butter my corn. Oh, look at that. Look how yummy that looks, guys. It's like burned on the sides. Mmm. Okay. Now. Where's my salt? Oh, here's my salt. I keep losing things. Salt? Salt? I'm getting salt in my ketchup. Dang it. I'm not good at this, y'all. This, I'm still learning the food, okay? That's a lot of butter. Okay, I mean, salt. I'm done. I just, that was a lot of salt, guys. You didn't see that. Now the pepper. I don't know how to do this one-handed. So let me, um, I wonder if I can do it this way. I don't know how to use, guys, this is a weird pepper shaker. I don't know, whoa, how did my finger, okay. Maybe, is it working? I can't, okay, maybe we're just not gonna have pepper. We're not gonna have pepper, guys, it's okay. It's okay. No need to be sad. Now, before I eat this deliciousness, I need to clean up a little bit because this bugs me. Like, I, there's a lot of things on this um, counter. So, come clean with me. such a struggle today I think it's because I am still learning to cook and I usually just cook like quesadillas or just but like I wanted to be like I wanted to cook some corn and like I don't know that was just a little bit more difficult today and it's okay to have difficult days especially when you're new to cooking and why can't you guys see me? That's weird. Okay, sorry y'all. I don't know. I, my tripod's being weird. It's not staying up. Okay. There we go. And should stay up now. Um, but it's okay to have bad days in the kitchen. It's okay to have bad days in general. Like, that doesn't mean that it's going to be bad forever. You just, every day is a learning day. You learn something every day. Today I learned to like not rush i was rushing a little bit because i was hungry and i learned like not to rush and i also learned maybe to learn how to use the pepper before i put pepper on my food so i think today was great and tomorrow it'll be better and the next day it'll be even better and you just have to keep trying keep like, you, you can't give up. If something's hard, you can't give up. That's just not really an option. But let's try this food. It's kind of, it's kind of cold because I was impatient and I had to wait for things. But I think next time 
I'm wondering if maybe I could like do the corn and the chicken together. I don't know how that would work if I like do the corn or do the do like set it for the amount of the chicken and then put the corn in there and like take the corn out when the corn time is done. Uh, maybe I should just do the corn in the microwave. I don't know. We're we're figuring it out, and you guys are gonna come along and figure it out with me because I'm not gonna live at home forever. I'm not gonna have my parents help or my siblings help forever. There is gonna be a day where I like have a house of my own, and I'm gonna need to cook because eating and cooking is survival. Like you have to survive to eat. I mean, you have to <laughs> you have to eat to survive. So let's try my chicken. Okay. It's cold, so it's not great. But that's my fault. Um. Okay, the chicken is not my best work, but also, like, it's cold. But. It's okay, because I know I can make my chicken better. I hope the corn is good, because this corn has been... Like, we've had this corn for about... I... A week, maybe? I don't know. But I love corn, so... I'm hoping it's good. I put butter and... So I tried to put pepper on it. The pepper kind of ended up in my ketchup. We're not on my corn. What's up it? I do really like how I made the corn though. Like I like the edge like my corn a little bit more burnt than normal. I don't know that might sound weird, but like I don't know. My try of corn. Let's see. Oh. Hello friends, it is me. Um, my phone died. So you all did not get to see my thoughts on my delicious food, which here they are. Also, if you hear noise in the background, the office is playing. Um, my, my chicken was cold. I mean, it was good, but it was cold. My corn was, that was really good corn. And, yeah, that was today's vlog. Thanks for watching, friends. Hit the like and subscribe, and come back next week. Peace out.